Well, finally happened. I guess it's bound to happen using these little uh, SD cards. Uh, I've been using it in the GoPro for whew, a couple of years, maybe. Yeah, so it's finally it says a corrupt disk. Corrupt disk, I think it says. A corrupt file, sorry. So uh, I filmed the whole op. Yeah, the main point of this uh, story is that I filmed. <laughs> the whole construction of the solar generator I built today. But uh, I'll just go give you a run through of it, all the parts and what I did, and hopefully that'll be somewhat enjoyable. It's just, uh, like I say, corrupt file, I can't do much about it, but it had some real good clips on there. Oh well. Okay, but we'll get over and I'll show you the uh, generator, what's it all, what's it's all about. Okay. What I did was, uh, I had this old green box. I actually had quite a few from when I moved from Alberta. But anyway, yeah, and it just works the perfect size, you see. Uh, take rope at the top. With the whole thing together, it's about 45 pounds, maybe. So what I got going on in here is... 100 amp hour lithium battery, AO lithium, and then we have the 1000 watt power inverter. I'm actually got stuff charging right now, so I thought I might as well use it in the house, you see, than just sitting in the shed waiting to go camping or something. So I'm running it right now. If I can turn it here, I should be able to. Yeah, so then we've got the inverter. We can uh, turn it on if we need to use it. Uh, you don't even need to use it right now because it's got two USB ports on the charge controller. But if I do or need the 120, I can just flip her on and away we go. So that's that. So just like any solar system, as you, everyone probably basically already knows, we have the solar panel coming down. And that's energy. I think it's a 30, 30 watt coming down and connects into the charge controller. You can see we're at 13.5, 13.6 right now. So almost completely charged still. So the bat, the uh, panel comes in here, positive, negative. Then we got positive, negative going to the battery, to from the battery. And on the far right, we got a connection that we put a light, LED light in, if you want something permanent around the area. And yeah, so the, the construction was pretty straightforward. I used the uh, packing that they had with the came with the battery, and it was shipped. Down on the bottom, I got some OSB, the full length of the container, and then the width. And we got the inverter screwed in, nice and solid. Silicone sealant. Not that I'll leave it out in the rain, but in case there's uh, bad weather when you're camping, it'll give you uh, some help. Not waterproof, but water resistant. So that's basically the system. And then you got to have the inline fuse. It's a 30 amp. Obviously red, it goes to the positive, And black to the negative. And that's pretty much it. Quite easy to build. So if you're interested, like I said, everything will be in the comments there. If you have any questions, just ask away. Really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.